In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the liquid bridge contact model that simulates cohesive forces caused by moisture between particles. When two wet particles come into contact, a liquid bridge forms between them, causing them to stick together due to capillary forces. Once the bridge is broken, at the rupture distance, the cohesive forces stop acting. And liquid exchange between particles can occur based on their wetting properties. The amount of liquid redistributed also depends on how much surface area is in contact between the particles. First, set the units for the model. In this tutorial, the bulk material properties and interactions have already been configured. If needed, a separate document is provided with this video tutorial with detailed step-by-step -step instructions. We're now going to create two additional bulk materials. By duplicating an existing material, we also duplicate the associated particle setup. In this case, a dual sphere shape. While it's possible to use a single material for all particle types, creating separate ones gives us more control when configuring the particle factories later on. It's good practice to rename the new materials and corresponding particles. Please note that the contact radius is not required to define the zone where a liquid bridge can exist. The equipment properties and interaction parameters have also been set for this model. Next, import the CAD geometry provided with this tutorial. In the Import Parameters window, set the units to millimeters and leave all other settings at their default values. The blades and the mixer body are imported as separate sections. Merge the four blade geometries and rename it to blades. Then, rename the main body of the geometry to mixer. The next step is to specify the geometry dynamics. For this simulation, we'll add a linear rotation kinematic to the mixer geometry. Set the start time to 0.5 second to allow the particles to settle before the rotation starts. Then, you have to specify the initial velocity and axis of rotation. To apply the same linear rotation to the blades, select the mixer as the parent geometry. Next, go to the physics section to set up the liquid bridge model. There are three different interaction options available. We'll focus on particle-to-particle -particle interactions. Leave the base and friction contact models as per default, and under additional models, select the liquid bridge and exchange option. The liquid properties define the surface tension of the fluid in the surrounding environment. The distance cutoff parameter is a dimensionless value that helps define when the liquid bridge force stops increasing. You must add a material and specify the wetting angle between the liquid and the particle material. These values can typically be found in the literature. If you're applying the liquid bridge model to particle-to-geometry interactions, you only need to input the wetting angle for the equipment material. All other liquid properties are taken from the particle-to-particle -particle interaction settings. If you assign a particle material again in the geometry section, Edom will simply notify you that the bulk material interactions were already defined. Finally, we have the particle-body force interaction. This option is used to account for the added weight and inertia from the fluid attached to the particles. To activate this, all you need to do is specify the density of the fluid. Next, create the particle factories that will generate the three types of tablets and rename each factory accordingly. Create two copies of the first static factory. It's good practice to rename all factories. For this tutorial, we'll name them according to their moisture content.
Then, set the total number of particles for each factory and assign different start times to observe each type of tablet being generated. Note that the liquid mass ratio option will only appear under factory's parameters when the liquid bridge model is selected. The liquid mass ratio value is assigned to each particle and used by the model to represent the available liquid during the simulation. Please note, if you're combining the liquid bridge model with the spray coating model, the volume added method is used by the spray coating model. In this case, you don't need to set a liquid mass ratio, just set the liquid bridge model under the physics section. Once you have completed setting up your model in the creator, move to the simulator. Next, you have to configure the simulator settings. For this simulation, uncheck the auto time step option. Set the fixed time step and run the simulation for 25 seconds. You can choose between GPU and CPU for the solver engine. The liquid bridge force is first applied when particles come into contact. It remains active until the separation distance exceeds the rupture distance. We can observe the different particle types being generated according to the assigned factory parameters. After the simulation is complete, you can move to the EDEM analyst to post-process the results. EDEM offers a wide range of tools to analyze your bulk material behavior. However, in this example, we'll focus on liquid exchange and the cohesive behavior caused from the liquid bridge model. We've set the particle color representation to show the liquid mass ratio. As the simulation progresses, you can clearly see liquid transfer taking place between particles with different initial moisture levels. Here, we're comparing two simulations using different liquid bridge settings, changing the surface tension values. In the simulation on the right, we observe stronger cohesion between particles compared to the one on the left. This demonstrates how capillary forces drive bulk material cohesion and how moisture is redistributed throughout the material during mixing. 